Morning in the case of a missing Avon woman. Police say they believe Naja Farrell's remains have been found up in northwestern Indiana. Julia Deng is following the investigation in Avon. What have you learned, Julia? Yeah, what we are all waiting for right now is DNA confirmation. Avon detectives have gone up to Crown Point where they say a fisherman found a human foot in a pond. And now there was a tattoo on that foot. Investigators say it spelled out the name nausea, and it's believed to match a tattoo that Naja Farrell had on her foot. Uh, you're looking now at video of where that discovery was made yesterday. A dive team was called out to search the water. It was near an I-65 interchange about 130 miles north of Avon. Authorities combed the area near the water. They scanned the pond with a drone camera. The coroner's office says they were on standby through the night in case a body was found. And for now, investigators have not reported finding any other remains possibly linked to Naja Farrell. 30-year-old Farrell lived in Avon with her two biological children and three foster kids. She was last seen in the early hours of March 15th. Her car was later found near 86th and Michigan, about two and a half miles from the Panera Bread, where she had just started working. Uh, she was reported missing after she failed to show up for a new employee in orientation. Other belongings were later located on the side of I-65 near Lafayette Road. Again, no definitive confirmation about the remains found yesterday. But Avon police did indicate the missing person case now appears to be a death investigation. Her family is aware of the update. They've stated she would never willingly leave them. We are expecting an update in the case later today. Avon detectives are planning to share new findings at 1 p.m. And we will be carrying that live on WishTV.com. Back over to you. Okay, Julia, thank you. We do now know the name of